Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with SoftModder and today we're going to be looking at some of the new and hidden features with Safari in iOS 8. So the first one that I'm going to show you guys is how to access recently closed tabs in Safari. Uh, it's pretty easy to close a tab accidentally just by tapping on one of the X's. Uh, so now if you want to access any of the ones that you've closed accidentally or just want to look back through your history, just hold down on the plus sign here at the bottom and you'll be taken to a recently closed tabs page. So it's an easy way to access all of those. Uh, the next thing is you can now request a desktop site directly through Safari. Uh, you could have done this with Chrome uh, for a couple of years now, but it's finally in available in Safari. So if we go here, this is the mobile site for uh, World Star Hip Hop. So what you do is just tap on the URL here, scroll down like this, or just pull down actually, and then tap on request desktop site, and you'll be taken to the desktop site. Okay, cool. Uh, the next feature is separate private browsing. So if I tap here on the corner uh, and you go to private, you'll be taken to a separate private uh, page where you can access all of your stuff that you need to look up, whatever it is privately. Uh, if you want to exit there, you tap back here and then tap on private mode again and you can close all your private tabs or keep them so you can access them later. Uh, before um, Tapping on private mode will turn all of your current tabs into private. So this kind of just makes it easier to search your private stuff and then go back to your uh, regular tabs in Safari. Okay, so the next one is scanning a credit card with your camera. So here I have this, and if I tap on card number and the keyboard pops up, you'll now see a scan credit card option at the top of your keyboard. If you select that, Safari will ask for access to your camera and you'll need to position your card here in the frame. Uh, once it recognizes the numbers, it'll pull them and put them in there automatically for you. And the final feature that I'm going to be showing you guys, I uh, have to get out of Safari and go to the settings. I'm going to head over to Safari here. Uh, if you go to search engine now, you'll see that DuckDuckGo is uh, available for search engine. Uh, if you don't, if you haven't heard of DuckDuckGo, uh, it allows you to browse the internet without being tracked. So it's become really popular now. Apple allows it as uh, one of your stock search engines. All right, well that's it. Thanks guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Softmodder. All right, thanks guys.